Welcome to PA Timbergoose another lovely Saturday morning. Currently I am at Roaring Branch. About a year ago I did the other end of this trail and now we're right above uh, Centralia. We're on the other side of the mountain off of Route 54 and Roaring Branch is part of Wiser State Forest and there's a upper reservoir and a lower reservoir. Currently we're at the upper reservoir and uh, we're going to ride the bike trail about halfway down the trail. Last time I did this I came in from the other end. It's kind of chilly today. We're at the middle of September. So uh, hopefully we'll see some color today. The leaves are starting to change. Not a lot of people here so far. And uh, looking forward to this bike ride all summer. No bugs today. It's pretty cold. Hopefully we'll get some get some cool videos and find some nice things to explore. Come along with us today and uh, enjoy the ride. Let's go down and check out the footbridge. This is the first sign I saw so far. Number one National Miners Trail West. There are trails all through Wiser State Forest that you can hike through. It's very peaceful in here. It's so quiet. And it smells really good, all the pine trees in here. No road noise whatsoever. I'm just following the trail as I go. Not a lot of views here. Uh, the reservoir is at the other end when I came in. We'll uh, take a look at that on the way back. Let's take a look at this side here. Hopefully we'll see some wildlife today. You can fish in the reservoir up above where I came in. You just can't have any any boots in there and everything is catch and release. There's probably some, there's probably a few trout in the stream. This would be a cool spot to uh, ride back in on the bike and do some fly fishing. We're gonna continue to uh, ride down the trail, see what else we can discover. It's so beautiful in here. Here's another awesome bridge. There's another mountain spring coming out. Cool place to relax. Starting to feel like a human being again. Let's keep rolling down a trail here, see what else we can find. Made it down to the water company's property. It's really peaceful back here. You can hear the crews. I'm gonna go up on top of the up on top of the bank here. Take a break. There's about six miles coming down there. I think the other the other end of Roaring Branch is much a little bit longer and flatter. 
and uh, it's a lot more scenic. Although it's very beautiful in there, I think I prefer the other end of this trail. All right, let's uh, walk up here on top of the bank, and uh, we'll cool off in the shade. There's a there's a reservoir above this one. There's one in the middle. There's one above this, and then there's one in the middle, and then there's also one at the end where we came in. Previous video of Roaring Branch, I videoed both reservoirs, and uh, on the way out we'll do the other one. It's not real peaceful here right now. They're doing some mowing on the other side. I'm pretty sure they'll be over on this side here very soon. Once they're done here, you can hear the true solitude of this area. You can just feel the layers of humanity peeling away. It's a very beautiful fall day today. No bugs. Very slight breeze. Let's let's take a ride up the bike trail here further, and uh, we'll explore the upper end of this reservoir. Hopefully, when we come back, they'll be done mowing the grass, and then we can sit here and enjoy some serenity. Stay with us. Don't click through yet. We'll be right back. They were doing some mowing at the bottom end. We'll go back in a little while, see if they're done. It's very peaceful today. Not a lot of people up here. It's just so quiet. You can just hear the water lapping on the rocks. Crickets in the background, singing up in the trees. The occasional bike rolling down a trail. Take a moment here and uh, listen to the water lapping on the shore. Take a look at the lower reservoir on the way out. A couple of people fishing out there. I bet there's some fish lurking in there. Let's take a look at the Boy Scout cabin here. Pretty cool. That would be a cool place to live. Back between these two mountains. I could spend the rest of my life back here. Just be kind of tough getting out in the winter. Let's walk around the other side here. Can't really see in there. Got a microwave, a stove, heater. Let's see if we got water. Nope. That's locked up tight. Cool fireplace. Last time I looked in here, there was a big buckhead. I, uh, I don't see the deer head there anymore. Maybe the owner, maybe the rightful owner of that giant book put it back in his house. There's a McWilliams picnic area. Let's go over there for a little bit. I 
I was going to cook my lunch here somewhere, but you're not allowed to have a fire within 300 feet of the reservoir. So right now I'm sitting under the pavilion and uh, I'm not sure if I'm actually allowed to have one in here unless I'm a boy scout. So we'll go upstream away from the reservoir and uh, cook our lunch up there. You're not allowed to wade in the reservoir. All fish are catch and release. Um, the upper reservoir behind me, you are allowed to have boots. But you have, they have to be carrying, and I believe you have to have a permit to put it on the reservoir. The lower reservoir, I don't think you can have any, any watercraft on there, but you can also fish in there. It's catch and release. The sign where I stored it said it was six miles down to the water company. But I don't believe that I've traveled six miles. Let's check our Garmin here. And we will check our mileage. 4.9 miles. Just shy of five. So it's actually closer than what the sign says up there. No cell service. I can uh, text on my Garmin Explorer Plus. Uh, I say it. I can keep in contact with my wife. Even though there's no cell service in here. I have an SOS button on the side. If something should happen to me. I can push this button. And uh, I can stay in contact with my rescuers. Tell them what's wrong with me. If you're in the back country, you definitely want some kind of an iridium device in case you have a medical emergency and uh, somebody can know where you are. It's very peaceful in here. They do come back here and mow the grass. A truck just pulled by with a big trailer on the back and two mowers. So it's going to get pretty noisy here. Got some country music jamming in the background. Kind of, real, kind of ruins a magical moment here, the serenity. I uh, want to ride back down further, find another spot in the shade, and put up my chair and relax. So we'll see you in a few minutes. Back on trail, we're going to start heading back out to where I parked. Uh, the three guys were down there mowing, they're still there. See that area is still fairly noisy. There's a nice waterfall there. This big section here is restricted. We're going to go back out here and uh, go down one of these side trails and find a place to uh, make some burgers on the fire. It's been a very quiet day. Had a few people watch me make my video. So it took me a little bit longer than I thought it would. And again, I had somebody walk in front of me while I was making a video. <laughs> Don't know why you have to do that. Uh, you can see my cameras there. All right, let's roll down the trail here, find a spot for lunch, and uh, make some juicy cheeseburgers on the fire. Thanks for coming along today on PA Timber Goose. Hopefully you enjoyed our bike ride through Wiser State Forest, Roaring Branch. I do believe it's about 12 miles from one end to the other. It's a fairly easy ride. Uh, the trail is fairly flat. It has a very low grade. Lots of picnic tables, lots of relaxation and fresh air. Uh, the farther you get back in there, the less noise there is. As always, give this video a like. Hit that subscribe button. It really helps the channel. 
and we'll see you on our next video. Thanks for watching PA Timber Goose.